Hey, it's me, Marquis Joe, here to entertain you. Yes, it is my show. It exists. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah. All right, hello everyone, Marky Joe 1990 here, and it just, wow, it just jumps right the fuck in. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, all right, so this is Alisk's entry, The Roots That Bind, and um, if you guys remember, in Rage Fest 4, he submitted a submission called uh, Trapped in Painful Places, and that was a really good submission, except for part two. Everything about it was really well designed, the graphics were nice, uh, the humor, especially the intro, was good. Uh, and then, you know, because he made the submission in two weeks, eventually he had to get to a point where he had to rush it. I don't know if that's the same story with this submission, but let's just fucking dive right into it. Rage Fest 5, select yes. Okay, Alsk told me to do that. What is your favorite food? Please enter name of food. Use the control. Okay, wow, interesting. Fart. Oh, okay. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Uh... Should I make the first letter lowercase? Because I assume that this is going to come up in a sentence later. so And then it'll be weirdly capitalized. But all right, whatever. Uh, speaking of which, I have not eaten bacon at the start of this commentary. Unlike the previous time I played Alice's submission. Uh, speaking of which, despite all the shit that happened... Oh, in easy mode. Uh, despite everything that I said about Alex's submission last time, I have a lot of respect for his skills and talent. I think he has a lot of potential as a hacker, and I would love to see more shit coming from him. Uh, alright, whatever. I don't want to play easy mode, that's for fucking pussies. Alright, so no. And here we go. Whoa, it's a kitty cat. Oh shit, okay, so I assume that guest must have made some of the porches for this. Also, I'm noticing... Yeah, this is a lot- there's a lot of Castlevania 2 music for some reason. The title screen is, um... D like, I think the name entry of the password entries thing. And this is when you're in Dracula's castle. Shit. Also, I noticed that- oh, shit. Fuck. He just changed the tiles. And now he's stuck. Oh. All right, so that's uh, th I remember this from Tale of Pert. This line I have a set of skills. I think that's a reference to something. I don't get it. I'll not pursue you, but if you know, I will look for. I will find you, and I will kill you. Yeah. So be it. Forgive me. For so is he gonna summon me? That'd be hilarious. How do you get home? You're surrounded by thickets, thicket tiles specifically. Open nine days a week. All right. Wait. Oh, hey. I think that's a uh, a picture of me. Uh, not the best picture, albeit, but whatever. All right. I need to remember Jimmy's snacks and shit. Oh, I'm trying to think of what place he put me in. Cause I used to work at Denny's, and now I work at Sopet Shop. Ah, oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so this is actually kind of interesting what he's doing with me. Am I gonna turn into like my normal self now? Am I gonna be my like my anime self? <laughs> A few KM West. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Oh shit, what the fuck? Green is so not my color. Ah yeah, my favorite color is purple. Marky Doodle Goldie Poo. What the fuck kind of name is that? <laughs> it's a squall. Hi, I'm Mark. What the fuck is with that guy's face? He is the kiddiest of squalls. Or Alisk. I don't know what I'm supposed to call you. Oh god, okay, so I think that's a reference to my old forums. If you were new there, your title was Brain Dead Fan. And if you posted once, you were Brain Dead Fan who actually posted. Oh, 
Oh, wait, what? Alice, what kind of fucking unethical shit are you doing behind closed doors? Buddy right. Oh shit. So he's gonna be hard to rescue. Huh. For Linz later. Oh boy, what's this all about? Whoa, whoa! Wait, yeah, yeah, I was about to just say, isn't that the dude from Legend of Cow Cow? All right, guys, go watch my fucking Legend of Cow Cow Patreon videos. Um, so a little background. Squall saw the Legend of Cow Cow videos and they made him really interested in the game. So then he proceeded to go play them and he was like, whoa, dude, you should totally do a full Let's Play of this game. It has so much shit that Fire Emblem should be doing. And, uh, lo and behold, cow, cow Cow's in here. Alright, this guy's saying a bunch of fucking gibberish. Here to answer training. Yeah! I. Alright, dude. What you're fucking saying is going in one ear and out the other. But I better pay attention because probably there's probably some important instructions in here. <laughs> no, I, I, I've i been reading it, it's just, fuck dude. Also, this is relatively in character for me, aside from the what the fuck is with that single bit of hair. I guess I'm a girl now or some shit. What is with Fire Emblem and this transgender shit? Like, whoa. Sorry, Rage Fest. There's been a lot of transgender jokes, or like transgender references. I got nothing against transgender people. It's just, why has it been on everybody's mind so much lately? Pro oh shit, a tech skip. Snatch out of the air, I had no idea there were sorcerers among the Mars, right? Okay, Masu? Yeah, there's definitely some he definitely, it's interesting how he acknowledged his own tech skip. What is this sorcery? You could be an infiltrator of some sort. I do not, would be able to bring himself to resort to say. Batuti? Huh, interesting. Oh, there's the uh, bandit roar. All right, that's a bit, that's a bit rude. <laughs> I wouldn't say that about him. I mean, Alice did a lot of original shit in the previous entry. Wait, are they? That's a, that's a halberd here? Huh, well, I'm good at Super Smash Brothers, so... I won a tournament once, uh, a local tournament. Whoa! Bada! Dude, lay off the fucking donuts! Alright, so I guess the theme here is that, like, the character- oh, move Squall onto Alex's house to win. Okay, so I'm guessing the theme here with the enemies at least is that they're all misclassed. Oh, fuck yeah, more Castlevania 2 music. That's what I like to hear. Alright, so what do we got here? We got Cow Cow. Sword of Heaven. Uh, oh, it's Reaver. Ancestral Sword. Fuck, this is gonna be complicated. Seven Star Sword? Fulfill your destiny, become full of beans. Oh, shit. I agree. I would love to become full of beans. Whoa! Whoa! Look at my fucking bounty! 
next redesign. Flying Fook. Has great potential. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Gives lots of weapon EXP. Agreed. Squall. More intelligent than his creator. R wait, really? Oh god, is he is it gonna turn out that he's the fucking villain and that like he was pretending to be stupid this whole time or some shit? Uh oh, Hector with the Lance. You want a prize or something? Oh yeah, you know what? I do want a prize. I will point it out. Okay, how good is this? It's shit. Good to know. Who wants you to appreciate that? Okay, so. Uh I feel oh shit, I can't. I have six move. Okay, that's interesting. And all the enemies have lances, so this is going to be a problem. Okay, so this is going to be a case of let's check the enemy ranges, isn't it? Um, how much attack power do you have? How much defense? Not too much, but you have a ton of HP, so good to know. Actually, can I... Oh, okay. Whoa! Interesting. So you gave... I see. You use the red color... Um, for his map sprite so that he would seem like a red unit, but he's not actually a red unit. It's just, like, if you looked at the Hector class's cape, that's the red he used for this guy's map sprite. That's, that's pretty clever. I'll, I'll, I gotta hand that shit to you. I have a feeling that I don't want to use this guy too much, though. He's a promoted unit. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm not supposed to use him very much. I mean, that's just a general rule of game design, I guess. Whoa, what the fuck? What the f- So that's the strike theme, but with like a Genesis sound font attached to it? That's pretty fucking cool! Oh, wait, no, I think it's just he used the guitar instrument for, for like the main brass instrument thingy. Um, uh, okay, so... I- you know what? I don't want to use him. I feel like it's gonna... Like, you want to get all the XP you can. Also, can I just say this map looks really nice? It's got sort of a, I guess, foreboding palette to it. I don't know. It looks unfriendly. Which is fitting because they're Castlevania 2 music. And Castlevania 2 always had this atmosphere of unease to it. Even despite the fact that's, you know, a platforming game, you know? I'm a demigod. All right, fair enough. So I gotta go after him. Squall got a Marky Joe hair. Oh, where are you gonna frame it? Secret. All right. Well, aren't you the the most engaging character? Okay, so here we go. Bam, Squall. You know, you may not have good words, but you've got good spurts. All right, Mark, just, can you fucking try it just a tiny bit harder next time? Hmm. I don't want to use his shit. Fuck it, we're just gonna go for it, because I gotta keep this shit going, man. Except, uh, I just realized his weapon triangle sucks. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right, because they're all Lance users. I'm really digging this fucking remix. I mean, it doesn't sound like... I like the novelty of it. I'm not sure if it actually sounds great, but I, I just like the novelty. Like, it sounds like a fucking Genesis game, you know? That'd be interesting if Fire Emblem was on the Genesis. Uh, I mean, then again, what was that game? It was either Langrisser or Lufia or something. One of those games or some other... I'm, I must be thinking of some other strategy RPG. There were a couple that were on um, the Genesis. Um... And I know for a fact that there was this one, uh, that, um, Gas Station's Fire Emblem hack, Bloodlines, takes a lot of influence from. I just don't remember the name of it. Okay, I just looked it up. It's Shining Force. But it had, like, owl people and shit, and lots of owl people, and, and other, like, like, I guess, furry creatures. Whoa! Whoa! Dude! Fucking styling with the bow! Jaroskov. Whoa, that sounds mad Russian. Look for you!
Really? The Enrager Mint Ring? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Ephraim put this in a non-canon branch of the Raid Fist timeline. Wow. That might just be a little too, like, in-jokey for my taste. Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh, yes, I love this. This is fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. Dude, I always thought about, like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if there was, like, a, a, like a night phase on each map? But there you go. You fucking implemented the idea. Oh, shit. Moonblade pierces defense, I bet. Lynn. I f this is, like, my favorite song in, um, in Castlevania 4, by the way. I absolutely... This song is my fucking jam. Time to hit you in the face. You are so bad. Fuck you, you dick. I'm gonna hit you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Go to hell. Fuck you, fuck you, dick. Okay, so I definitely gotta watch out for this bitch. You have a lot of speed, right? And yeah, you're gonna double the shit out of me with... You know, that grumpy face ain't just for show. I'm actually grumpy about something. All right, let's fucking guillotine your ass. And last but not least, we gotta fucking smack this bitch with the steel blade. Yay, level ups. Ooh, two HP. Fuck, that's pretty good. Wait a minute. Did it just say my HP was five? Up, oh, wins across the plains. What, what more fitting a song than one where you get attacked by a bunch of fucking limbs? You know, what a coincidence, you know, because I recently made a, like a, kind of a, a half remix of the Wind Across the Plains theme. Whoa! She looks like a fucking zombie. Dude, fuck. You know, I gotta, I gotta give Alice some mad props. He is really good with, um, pr with, like, presentation. His hacks always have, like, really high quality presentation. Also, uh, that poof effect was pretty cool. So I can tell you some jokes during your journey. Uh, okay, Lynn eats too many burritos. Let's see, uh... I don't know. Winds across the plains? Oh. Oh, boy. So, the, so those are the jokes we're dealing with, huh? Uh, okay, oh shit. Uh, does anybody got me a vulnerary? Well, recovery of beans. Oh, oops, wrong dude. All right, so recovery beans. Uh, all right, now I'm now I'm so full of beans. Look at that shit. More fucking. <sighs> Actually, I don't know if I explained this, but there was a point in time where I just kept saying to Evil Egg Waffle, like, "Stop being so full of beans." Like, just one night I was over at his house. Like, you're not allowed to swear there, so I had to come up with different, you know, curse words essentially. <laughs> And I, we were playing some competitive game or something, like, I don't remember exactly. But I was just like, oh, you're so full of beans. You know that? And he just kept laughing because I wouldn't shut the fuck up with it. Uh, okay, that's the one that gives me lots of defense. You know what? Uh, he has a killer lance. I don't like that, but you know what? Fuck it. We're, we're going in. We're going in, bitch! Oh, shit. Okay, so... Fuck. Oopsie doodle. All right, so you got to hit. You have a heavy spear. I need to keep that in mind. And there we go. The the death theme from Castlevania Two. Ooh, spooky. These ambush bombs just don't 